It's June, which means it's time for this month's real estate market update. I'm Bailey Katrona, your real estate wig woman, and let's hop into it. There were some pretty big headlines in the real estate news world this past month. Number one thing to pay attention to is insurance. State Farm made headlines when they announced that they were pulling out of California for new homeowner insurance policies. That is a really big deal, especially in the Santa Cruz mountains. And ultimately, housing affordability just got that much harder. They're no longer writing traditional policies for new homeowners. And State Farm was really one of the few companies out here that were still writing traditional policies. So if you couldn't get State Farm, you pretty much had to go with the California Fair Plan, which is like last resort of insurance. And those premiums are pretty hefty. So again, now that they're gone, new homeowners going forward can expect to have to get California Fair Plan insurance. And those premiums, even for like a small three bedroom home, tend to start around $4,000 a year. So as you increase the home size, and depending on that home's location, you might be looking at a pretty hefty insurance policy. Some insurance premiums are going up by so much that they're kicking buyers out of affordability. So don't forget that the monthly mortgage payment is not the only monthly cost that lenders are looking at when they're determining your qualification. If the insurance premium is too high and it causes your debt to income ratio for qualifying, to go above a certain percentage amount, that means that you may not be able to get the loan because your debts compared to your income may not be where it needs to be. Yes, tripling the cost of insurance can cause this to happen. It's not like renting where you just need to make three times the monthly payment. It's a little more intricate than that. And that's also why it's so important to talk to a really good, reputable lender. This wasn't as much of an issue in previous months and years as it's going to become. I'm very interested to see how many transactions fall through this month due to this. And for my sellers, when you go to sell a home with me, I'll get a home insurance quote and put that into the disclosures so that buyers understand what the insurance cost could be before they put an offer in. Insurance directly impacts housing affordability and it really can make or break the selling strategy when you go to sell a home. And on top of that, our inventory is still not growing. So we still have that really low supply and the relatively high demand. Again, the insurance could push some buyers out of the wheelhouse, but I don't think it's enough to really get that demand back down, especially with the interest rates also lowering it kind of evens that part out. So let's see how insurance policies, premiums, housing inventory, and interest rates continue to impact our hyper-local market here in Santa Cruz County over the next month, especially as we are now heading into one of the hottest times to sell your home of the year. I hope you found this market update useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next month.